now that I was doing a workshop, thinking about different ideas, you know, thinking of myself, a bit hard, you know, it was driving me crazy, but then I started thinking about home up in Queensland and up there, and I think, well, you know, I come from a beautiful place up there, and I thought, start jotting down, you know, dot points of what's so good about, you know, my place up in Queensland, I'm, I'm Fraser Island, and as I start putting those dot points together, then I start forming a, a little script. It was a rough draft, but uh, it turned out to be a really good draft, though. 21 years of my life, I have lived in one place that tortures me. A place that has so many demons, so many troubles, so many problems. It makes you wonder, why am I still here? That place is Melbourne, a still concrete jungle. 21 years breathing, living, eating, learning, teaching, gatherings. To me, how? In terms of, uh, like, um, using images or footage for the doco, you know, um, I've got, you know, a, a lot of photos of Fraser Island, but sadly they weren't here in Melbourne with me, but uh, I just got on the phone and rang up the Arnie up in Harvey Bay, and uh, she happily to email a few photos down to me, which was great, so I can use that for my, uh, uh, my little um, sh uh, short story. The positive thing about this, uh, the story circle was that you're telling the story um, you know, the, to these other people, but also getting feedback, which was really good. And um, you know, listening to other people's stories, getting other ideas, and, uh, and then you know, go back to the drawing board in terms of how you want to rewrite your script, in terms of how you want to structure your script as well. After the uh, story circle, we jumped on the uh, computer, then start typing our scripts, and it was uh, another interesting too, trying to type it down in a minimal of 300 words, and uh, it was, was really great because I'm an expert writer or, you know, script writer and all that, so it was great to have that extra hand aboard, you know, helping me how to really st structure the script, how to start from the start, then into the middle of it, and then how to, um, to finish off the script. Mackenzie listens to my troubles makes me feel good about myself. I have much more pride knowing where my blood is from. In terms of actually, um, you know, in terms of this changing the script, it did change, but it changed for the better of it, I believe, because it's short, it's sweet, and it got a lot of information out there, which was really good. Yeah, and then once we got the photos all together, we uh, scanned them and uploaded them on the computer so we can use them for our short story. You want to tell your story in pictures. You want people to feel as you what you're feeling, and that's the importance of doing storyboards. So you know where to pinpoint your particular images or footages. So of course, you're recording your voice and uh, go into the recording booth and start reading out your script. At the start, there was a bit of nerves and all that, uh, a bit shaken up. But once you get into it, you get all you know. You'll start loosening up and then get used to it, and uh, then you're on full sail. You know what you want to say, and great. We got the video camera, we went down the banks of Yarra and, you know, making out that we're in Fraser Island, making out we're in the bush, but obviously we're just down the Birang Ma down there. The editing process was, uh, of course, the, the major part of the process of doing the short story, you know, doing, of course, your fade-ins and cross-outs and of where you want your voice to be in the story and all that. It was difficult because I'm not a film expert or editing expert, but knowing the help that I, that I got, I felt like Steven Spielberg. Yeah, come the last part, of course, showing everybody's story, the final, you know, the final um, process, seeing it on the big screen. It was great. A lot, of, a lot of tears, a lot of laughs. And that's the beauty about it, you know, sharing these um, digital s short stories. It was great. I loved it every minute of it, and I hope to do more. It was just an amazing experience. So I bet you're wondering, why am I still in Melbourne? I grew up there. I have family and friends there. I work there. I can't leave Melbourne. It made me who I am today, and I can't take that back. But one thing for sure is Fraser is my heart, my bunker, and my island home.